Okay, so I am a big fan of this little thing here, but I might have found something that rivals it. I was looking in my very cluttered basement. Um, my dad was like a car mechanic or something. He really liked cars. And after searching through there, I found this big thing that's like 40, I'm pretty sure it's at least 40 years old. It's a AC Delco 12 volt ignition coil. And I'm going to show you two circuits with it. And I'd like you to comment and tell me which one you think is better. First circuit I have here is one I'm sure all of you have heard of if you play with ignition coils or flybacks. A capacitor and a dimmer switch. This dimmer switch right here is a 600 watt and this capacitor here is 15 microfarad at 300 some volts working voltage AC and 800 volts DC. Let's turn it on. I have it on low. And I'll turn it on. That's low. And you see that that one works really well, but um, you see it's dangerous with mains 120 volts for where I am right now. That's kind of dangerous. So we have that to worry about. And now I'm going to put together a little circuit that I found online that I think works just as well, but it's not quite as dangerous. Just take this apart. And put it together, or try to. Sorry, I'm not well prepared. And this thing's just coming totally undone. And it's not working very well. Okay, what I have here is a 12 volt relay and how it's wired is the contacts that are normally open are connected to the coil and that all is connected with a 0.68 microfarad capacitor. And that capacitor is essential to making this circuit work. Without it, I only got two millimeter sparks. 
four. And I personally think this one rivals that other circuit because this one runs on 15 volts. And let's see if I can get this wired without getting my big head in the way. Let's see. Even though the sparks aren't quite as big as with the dimmer switch, I personally think that one rivals the dimmer switch because this one only runs on 15 volts and the dimmer switch runs on 120 volts. And I think this one's just better. So one end of the relay with the capacitor goes to the coil. The other end of the coil goes to one end of your power supply and the other end of the power supply goes up to onto the other end of the coil and works great I guess that's pretty much it please leave a comment to tell me which one you'd prefer to use